get to the Canberra Raiders, yeah, hey? Down the sides. Yeah. Uh, Coach Ricky Stewart, Captain Elliot Whitehead and Jared Croker apparently listed as co-captains. Uh, they've lost Adam Elliott. They've lost Josh Hodgson, who hasn't played for two and a half years. <laughs> uh, they've lost Chance. They've lost Harry Rudston, Ryan Sutton and Sam Williams. Whatever. They're bringing in... I was just going to say, whatever happened to poor old Harry Rushton? Did he he's, even he's get a gone, game? He's gone back to... Uh, I think he played one game. Yeah. I think he's gone back... Uh, he's I need to Burnham. find out where. Possibly... Okay, Huddersfield. So. Uh, they've picked up Danny Levy, Atta Mariota and Pasami Solo. Uh, Levy, I guess... Solo is probably the best pick-up for those, but out of those. Yeah, yeah. Know, I, I don't think it'll don't make think much of a difference. Any, um, uh, well, I, I'll put it this way. I think at least... Similar to what they did last year, I think the Raiders will play a a two hooker game. So um, yeah, but they've already Wolford, got two. Wolford and Starling. Yeah, but but but, but, if, but if one of those gets injured because yeah. they play in the two yeah, hookers, he cover. will he will come onto the bench. I yeah, think Solo up. probably might even get a start, which would probably be well. This is um something. In I'll, I'll do this one because this is one of the easiest teams. I didn't know that's changed here. <laughs> Savage Kotr- uh, Kotrick. How would you pronounce these days? It's Kotrick here. Kotrick. No, no, he changed it back. It's Kotrick again. Is it? Apparently. Did do, we, do we change back as well? Maybe he's Wahi for three weeks. We, and with all, he's with all due respect, I did not know Kotrick changed his last Neither name. I. So there I know, we go. I know uh, Kot- Kotrick. Vossi tweeted yeah. out that um, Dewey's no longer Dwight. He's just Dewey again. So mm. that one wore off. Anyway, Tomoko. <laughs> Bit Chris, of dribble for you peoples. Rapana, Whiten, Fogarty, Puppy, he, Wolford. Tapane, Young, okay. Whitehead, Huira Naira, Starling, and the, only because that's what they've done. Only because that's what they okay, do. Okay, okay. Horsbra, Gula, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Solo probably gets a gets his way into the seventeen. To be honest, yeah. Uh, so. Have I missed anyone? Obviously, except no, for maybe know. Trey Mooney. May. And I think Harley Smith Shields it fine. He might. Yeah, but he's a centre. I don't nah. think he'll get a start in front of the other two young fellas. They'll, he they'll, might. They'll probably even give Croker the third string role before. Smith Shields, not saying they should, but yeah, I'm just looking through the rest of the squad. What you see is what you get. Uh, yeah, they well, yeah, they, they are who they are. What do, mm. what do we say? They finished eighth last year. They're probably going to be in and around. Same they do get spot. Fogarty back yeah. for the whole year, which is massive because he was yeah. pretty pretty good last he year. He was instrumental. It takes a lot off of Whiten. Uh, and as I've said on the Supercoach show, I'm pretty keen to keep him as my second halfback to start the year because I think he'll do all right. But look, we know. <laughs> Someone else talk about this because, like I said, it's just I'm just sort of repeating stuff well. I've said in the past here. In terms of like you know, let's maybe put White in the centres. He might be the best centre in the world, but we don't. I think they'll be competitive well. half the time, and then against the top teams, they might struggle a little bit. To be honest, just because um, they do struggle for a bit of creativity for their ball playing. Um, their their centres don't really. Add any, they're more ball runners than being able to set up their outside men to the detriment of Rapana and Kotrick. Mm-hmm. Um, they're more sort of looking for the the ball that's been thrown from the halves rather than the centres because the centres just sort of grab the thing, tuck it under the wing and run run as hard as they can. Um, there's there's some very there's some very now Chris has a bit of full work, but he's, yeah yeah, but he doesn't the really have the pass he, on the end. Of remember it. early on we thought he might be. He's got a, a little bit of pace. They're probably a, a fraction slow as a team all yeah. all together, which sort of. Uh, hurts them a little bit in defence. Um, their, their line speed's not as good as it possibly should be. I would be playing um, Hawira and Ira in front of Whitehead. Yeah. I think the the back end of last year showed the, the definitely showed that he probably shouldn't be starting. And yeah, I he think, had a pretty good World Cup though. I think Whitehead is under a lot of pressure though. I've got him on my bench, and I do think yeah, he's captain. He, though, they're not he's gonna... Yeah, they, they, they've got a couple of well, deficiencies so in defence, um, especially out wide, and the creative ball playing is a bit of an issue. The kicking game is going to rely pretty much solely on Fogarty because um, I'm not sure what it is with Whiten, but every time he gets close to the line, he seems to kick the thing dead by 15 or 20 <laughs> <Yeah>. metres. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Just kicks the absolute shit out of it and ends up in and, row and five. And has that baffled look on his head. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> And when he does kick long, sometimes it's brilliant and it spirals and it lands just inside and goes into touch and then other times it goes out on the full. So, um, yeah, I think Fogarty absolutely has to control the um, the game pl- like the, the game controlling plays with the kicking and um, positional play for this team. As you said, I I really think White should be playing 13 or should be playing in the centres. Um, they've got a couple of young centres there, but... I. Pay Tuppany on an edge and play Whiten at 13 really would be the way I'd probably be looking at this be side. 
fantastic center. Mm. Um, a fantastic, obviously, do uh, a fantastic lock. Yeah, absolutely. Gets to pick and choose where he yeah. where he slides into the back line. Is big enough, strong enough to defend, and can run into the line if he has to. You know, and do that job. If the forwards aren't doing the job, I've got a couple of question marks about how the the hookers interplay with each other. I know Wolford has proven himself to be a pretty solid hooker there, but he doesn't create the he doesn't have the creative skills that Starling does. So the timing of when who when they come on, come off, what happens when that happens is um yeah a, a, a bit of a question mark for me. They've got some decent depth in most positions, but they're not going to bring on any strike sort of weapons that are going to blow a game apart. I don't think that's going to come off the bench and you know add significantly to the team. Um, Chris and Tomoko, I think they should improve again. Um, they're not going to be well beaters, but I think they will improve on what they did last year. Hawira Naira, if he's given the time, which baffled me why he wasn't given as you know I thought he should have been given a lot more time than what he was well, given he last was year. He's fantastic. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a thing, you know, Ricky does seem to have a thing where people, they rub up against each other the wrong way and people get pushed out and whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Young and Tarpane are the best two players and they will be their best two players for the entire year, I would imagine. Um, they are fantastic footballers. Papa Lee is a stalwart and he'll go down as one of the best front rowers I think I've ever seen, to be honest. Like, the bloke is just blood and guts and thunder down through the middle and he will he will add significantly to this team. But again, uh, the interchange of the forwards, Horsburgh does add something when he comes on, but I'm not sure Solo is going to, you know, increase the output no. on what Horsburgh is going to bring or what Papa Lee is going to bring. So I think there may be a little bit of a drop when they do get into that forward interchange. They're going to be in and around the 13, uh, in and around the 8, whether they just fall in or just fall out, it's the question of what happens there. And I would really love to see Croker play a few games and get to his three. I think he's just outside yeah, his three hundredth game, isn't he's he? About, but he's not far off three thousand uh, points. Or whatever it is. I don't know yeah. if he gets a game again this year. He's the one. He's obviously the one we didn't mention there. Trey uh, Mooney and Gula, big watches for me. And Savage, um, he could be anything or he could be nothing. Well, which is second year Savage now. We've got to see. I guess we third year now. I think third, well, yeah, but he was half half to start with. Uh, come down from Penrith, but um, big year for him. I think he's the one that yeah he needs to stamp himself as a first grade fullback. Uh, and I think it's a big year for the halves. I think yeah, as we've said, Fogarty and well, Fogarty will, will now be able to own this team and and will be big for White, and it could be the best thing that happens to White. But uh, big year for him to really stamp himself as a six when. When he's, you know, one of the world's best centres and, and running around probably slightly out of position at times here. Uh, yeah, they're the gatekeeper to the eight. So, for me, mm. they're the team, you know, your top eight teams are going to beat and your bottom eight teams aren't going to beat. And whether it means they finish eighth, ninth, tenth or seventh, well, time will tell, Ollie. For some reason that I just can't quite wrap my head around, Raiders fans seem to not like me very much. I don't know why. What would that be? I have no idea. The Warriors fans are starting to make a case recently, but um, yeah, uh, apparently I'm a bit mean to the Who old Raiders. Like uh, well, Penrith fans. T well, not even Titans fans because <laughs> I ripped them to shreds. I mean, <laughs> not Tigers fans, I know that. But but um, Roosters fans and Panthers fans. No, yeah. well, no, well, no. M most teams fans probably just don't care. But Raiders fans, <laughs> I, I've received some messages. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty fair. I, I don't know. I, I love Canberra, by the way. It's a great place. But oh yeah, it's mad. Uh, with yeah, that being said, I'm tipping Canberra to just miss the eight. So um, full of politicians. There's that. Um, it took you a long time to get. To, 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 <laughs> well, I wanted to, to build point. it up, but I kept getting interrupted oh, by sorry. accusations. Yeah. But um, I just. I, I think for Whiten, it's sort of, in a sense, it's make or break at 5'8", because now he's got Fogarty for a full season. He didn't have Fogarty for half a season last year. So yeah. let's just say Whiten accidentally poo uh, absolutely poops the bed, I guess you could say, at 5'8", halfway through the year. I think you pretty Bro, much got to... Shit. No, I'm being good and I'm being good and censored. Yeah. But, Whatever. Um, Dickhead. I think, <laughs> I think that... Um, it's sort of make or break from there, and if it doesn't work, any for Chris or a um, a Tomoko isn't up to standard at centres, I think maybe you move him there. I've got Tarpany at lock, 
personally as well. So I don't think Whiten then moves into lock because Tarpany will be there. I just, I just can't see him changing a Deli M prop to. Yeah. I yeah they're, I. They're not going to think that way. I, the teams don't. I also think as well. And I know he's just re-signed and I've talked about him before, but honestly, I think if Canberra misses the top eight this year, move Ricky Stewart to coaching director or whatever. But I don't think – I think with the amount of time well, he's been yeah, they're, they're there, I feel like – saying he's got a job for life. I, they, so. I, I think there comes a time with every coach where they've been there long enough. If they're not consistently making the top four or they haven't won a premiership or something – there needs to be a, an okay, let's try and shake things up a bit and change things. And I'm not even saying get rid of Ricky Stewart from the club, but I'm saying if they don't make the eight this year at a minimum, uh, make him coaching director or recruitment manager, whatever. But I, d- I don't think Ricky Stewart should be the head coach of the Raiders after this season if they don't at least make the top eight. Well, Madge is there now. <laughs> but that could actually be a good... Replacement with a similar squad like that. Just I don't on know. the so on the back of you said with um, Tarpane moving to thirteen, you don't think that they should think that way. I think a lot of team, oh, they won't think that way. Yeah. I think the majority of teams have to start thinking that way. I think your thirteen now is either a hybrid front rower, back rower that can play middle and then hit an edge, yep. or a a forward slash six who adds some ball playing yeah. as well as being it, it able need, to be impactful it, it through the middle of the be, field. It, it's an extension of your spine if it's not. You your need to either be a ball runner you need, you need to and be a yo, middleman or yeah, you need yeah. to be a ball player and a middleman. Like yeah. There need to be some sort of hybrid of both of those. Cause it, it, but, and, but to my point. Unless why, you want to play as an extra role. front rower. Yeah, absolutely he does. Yeah. And that's why I don't understand. And you've got, you've got Snyder there. Like, we only saw six or seven games out of yeah, him last yeah. year, but he was fucking fantastic as a kid. Had a massive boot on him. Good running game. Strong. Decent defense. Mm-hmm. Like, he would be a perfect fit at six outside of Fogarty and then have White at 13. Yeah. I, I, but it, I, it adds, stri- <laughs> it adds You've got stri- a coach who played in the 90s, and, and that's stri- the way yeah. they played in the 90s. So. But you're, you're 100% right. You're best. You now look at, look at um, yeah, run through it. Murray. Yeah. Murray Carrigan, bit of ball Yo, playing, middle player, uh, Radley. Yeah. Your top, if they're your top five, I'm missing someone obvious. Um, as you as you mentioned, uh, someone like uh, Wade Graham, if he was 25, yeah, would be would, perfectly would be suited for yeah. that role. Could do the hard stuff through the middle, brilliant ball playing, a little bit of kicking, just adds so much more to your to your halves and gives you that extra option. And yeah. Like the defenses are so good in the majority of teams this year, you need something extra to unlock. You need that bloke who's Massive and just powers over people, or you need someone with that bit of touch with a yeah. short kicking game and the short passing game that adds that little bit more to unlock defenses. And yeah, teams that get stuck with that same mentality end up getting stuck and they get further and further down the ladder. So. Yeah, anything else to add? Well, I think we're all in agreement. So I think they're, they're, they're top, top the, eight is a realistic chance. I'm just tipping them. On the outside the side periphery of it. of it. I really like your analogy. They are the gatekeeper of the yeah. eight. If you're good enough to beat them, you'll sneak in front of them for that, that eighth position. And if they get you, then you're probably going to just miss out. Well, so. yeah. for many years now, at, at least in terms of the top eight, eighth and ninth have been split by two or four points, right? Mm-hmm. So if you can beat that team that's just above you a couple of times, you're probably going to make it. Beautiful. Who's up next? 